Welcome back. Against excessive love, anti-dote. Our scores, Jeff is on 23, Rachel is on 28, so it is anybody's game at this stage as we head for our final rounds of tonight. The last letters, Jeff, they're yours. Lily, could I start with a consonant, please? Thank you. T. Another. R. A third. W. A fourth. C. Another consonant, please. G. A vowel. E. Another vowel. A. Another vowel. Another E. And a consonant, please. And last letter, S. Time starts now. Well, Jeff, those were the last letters for you. How did you go? I got a six, Richard. And Rachel? A seven. Let's start with yours, Jeff, first. Wages. And the seven? Creates. They sound good, David. Well, you've created an even further lead, a stronger lead. Well done, Rachel. Excellent uh, seven at this point in the game. So, well played. I couldn't find an eight either. Good stuff to Rachel. Seven points. We've got a chance to juggle the numbers for just one last time. And, uh, Rachel, you went with that uh, one big and five small before. Same again. I think I might go six small, spice Ooh. it up. Ooh, wow. A rat pack Ooh. to finish things up. Six small numbers on a Wednesday night. That's four, five, six. And our numbers, nine, two, another nine, seven, three, one, and the target number, 374. Let's chase it. Rachel, you let the rodents out of the bag there. <laughs> what did you, what did you come up with? No, not in the scoring range. Nothing at all? Uh, bad luck, Jeff? Not for me either, Richard. Well, nothing from uh, Jeff or Rachel with those uh, pesky rodents. You were not looking happy over there, Lily. No, How did you very, go? Very, very tricky, but I got there in the end. Oh, OK. Show yeah. us what you did. OK. So, um, the trick is that 374 is divisible by 11. Um, and 11 times 34 is 374. Um, so the trick is to make the 11 and the 34. Um, let's make the 34 first. Uh, 9 by 3 is 27, and 27 plus 7 is 34. And if you multiply that by 9 plus 2, which is 11, that all gives you 374. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You are the Pied Piper of the Rat Pack. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've done a beautiful job there, Lily. Well done. No extra scores for Jeff and Rachel, so that means that Jeff is on 23, Rachel is on 35. Well, it's that time, conundrum time. So, let's reveal tonight's conundrum. Your time starts now. Nothing from Jeff or Rachel on that one, so let's have a look at our conundrum solution tonight. And it is Escalator. So the scores haven't changed. Our winner tonight on 35 points is Rachel.
Good stuff, though, Jeff. It's been great to have you on the show, and you, uh, good luck with the tango in the future, too. Thank you, Richard. All the best. And, of course, uh, a Macquarie Dictionary for you to take away. Thank you very much. Uh, Rachel, well done. Now, does your list of ambitions include being on a TV show for at least two nights in a row? I might have to add it on. Excellent. We'll see you here tomorrow <laughs> Thank night. Thank you. And, David, word for the night? Actually, a word I saw in that rockfish mix was fourish. But, of course, all those approximate numbers, uh, we know what they mean, but they're not listed here in the dictionary. So it's like that sort of time, you know, I'll be there about fourish or about five-ish. Don't try it. It's not here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lily, it's about 6.30-ish. Got to go. Okay, see you tomorrow night. See, see you later, Richard. <laughs> that brings us to the end of another show. Don't forget to go to our website if you'd like to, sbs.com.au forward slash letters and numbers for all the details that you need if you want to be a future audience member or maybe even a contestant. See you again, 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Good night.